for folks who aren't familiar with Labster and what sort of resources and products we provide, I would describe us as a virtual lab simulation provider, you know, at the very simplest level. A Labster simulation is a guided learning experience um, that helps students go through a set of learning objectives in a structured way, but at the same time allowing them to explore, make mistakes. Imagine a flight simulator for scientists and science students. That is what a Labster Virtual Lab simulation is. I think the beauty of an accessible learning situation like Labster is that you can access it anywhere. You're able to make mistakes that you wouldn't be able to normally make, but then through those mistakes, through that trial and error, you're also learning best practices. Every student is approaching their lab experience from a different angle. We are that different approach. We understand what it's like to be asking science to be taught in maybe a little bit of a different way. Labster's impact in biology courses is not just that student outcomes will improve. It's not just that we close the gap between the lowest performing students and the more advanced students. It's not just that student engagement and motivation increases, and it's not only also that it saves time and cost, and it's safer in some cases. It's also the flexibility of the tool. Labster is used to really help students develop insight and thinking skills into why each step in the lab they're doing is important and the impacts of doing that differently or incorrectly. In my perfect world, every student has access to a high quality lab, uh, but before they walk into that lab and before they're doing the experiment themselves, they've done it through Labster. They've done it in a way prior so that they can fully appreciate the science that's happening in front of them to make sure the laptop works for everyone, you need to make sure that you have a development team behind that, that is representing everyone. And diverse means diversity in terms of skills, but also in terms of backgrounds and experiences. And in terms of how we design the product itself, being aware that inclusion is important, so taking a conscious effort on thinking about that, um, thinking about who are gonna be the students and teachers using our product. If you hear an idea or a thought or a perspective that just never occurred to you, inclusivity is there. To achieve diversity in, in scientists, we need to achieve diversity in science education. If we fail at creating a diverse and inclusive environment in science education, we're going to lose a lot of that mind power um, in science that is not going to help us save the world and solve all of these challenges. It's more holistic than just the word science. So it's, it's more about you know wanting to learn more, wanting to create impact, wanting to do certain things around us and actually creating a change. I feel that inclusion can be defined in a number of different ways. Here at Labster, the way we look at it is, one, in terms of accessibility, how are our students able to utilize this platform that we have? I'm excited to see where our product can go. I think one example of this is our new keyboard navigation that we're implementing. We don't feel like it's necessarily one size fits all because we do have students with learning disabilities and other challenges, and we want to make sure that they're able to get into our simulations, utilize them effectively, and really use them to enhance their course curriculum. I think it is really important that we're representing our students within the simulations through different skin colors, through different accessibility options. Hi, I'm Tracy, a food scientist. I'll be your assistant today. We have a mascot named Dr. One. So Dr. One was originally for English speaking countries and in India, the English accent is a little different. To make it super comfortable for our Indian audience, we put Indian accent English in, in Dr. One. It, it works so amazing and, and students love it. I think Labster's products are so special because we've tailored our content based on our clients' feedback. And our clients are comprised of university partners, instructors, and students. It's exciting to get the feedback from faculty saying, I loved what you said about uh, you know, meiosis uh, in, in this lab. 
Have you ever thought about producing a lab with XYZ? Or have you ever thought about this idea? I'm very lucky because I am on the front lines working with faculty every single day and they're able to give me their perspectives on what's going well, what might need to be improved, and what content they'd like to see down the line. At the end of the day, they're the ones who are teaching in the classroom and we want to make sure that the product that we're developing is a help, not a hindrance to them. Let us help you make your course more inclusive now. Visit www.labster.com.